My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable two-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty dinners using everyday ingredients. So I am trying out a couple of new things for dinner tonight. In my freezer, I had some slider buns, so I decided to make sliders in the air fryer. Never made um, burgers in the air fryer before, but in my bowl here, I had one pound of lean ground beef, and I seasoned the meat with this, and then I used my little slider former right here to make the burgers. So I'm gonna pop them into the air fryer. And then because my air fryer is gonna have burgers in it, I am going to use this basket that I picked up from, where did I get this from? Um, Ross, a while back ago. And this is the basket and it says you can bake it in the oven um, and make it crispier. So I'm kind of excited about that. So I have some frozen fries that I'm going to throw in this basket. And while the burgers are cooking, I am going to get my um, fries going. So I will be back. Okay, so here's our plates. This is my plate. I'm just having one slider and I just have some cheddar cheese on top. I'll probably add a little bit of mustard and this, oh, and I toasted my bun. I grilled my bun in a little bit of butter. And this is Howard's plate. He does not like his buns grilled, but he is having um, cheese and avocado, and then he's gonna add some ketchup on it. Here are the fries, and they turned out pretty good. Um, quick and easy to make, so I really do like that little crisper. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so we spent the day at the zoo and we stopped by a Mexican restaurant near the zoo. Howard went in and got some carry out for us. So we're gonna eat in our car. So Howard got a torta. Can you lift up the bun a little bit? It's huge, we've never been here before. That's Harrison, of course. What's on there? Uh, it has baked pork, sausage, al pastor, ham, chorizo, uh, wasaka cheese, Osaka, I think. Osaka cheese, and grilled onions. Yeah, so it looks pretty good. I don't know if you can see all that meat in there. And then I got a, um, a, a, a asada taco, and here it is. I didn't realize how small it is, but that's what it looks like. And then I also got chips and queso. Excuse the floor. Here's my queso in here. And then they make homemade chips. Let me open up the back so you can see it. And this is what they look like. They're homemade chips. And it's Harrison right there. Harrison, say hi. Hi. <laughs> All right. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having lasagna rolls. And I have made this dinner on our channel before. It is so good. One of Howard's favorite meals. The difference this time is that I made it with white cheddar instead of just the regular cheddar cheese, sharp cheddar cheese. And with it, I am serving some leftover broccoli. And then I'm also serving some garlic naan. We still do not have any garlic bread. I'm not buying any, just trying to use. <laughs> That's Harrison. Trying to use what we have. So um, I'm using this Trader Joe's garlic naan. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So we are eating from our freezer tonight. We are having our meal from Aldi. So I cooked this sweet sesame and ginger chicken skillet and it's tempura shrimp. That's Harrison and crispy vegetables and a honey sesame sauce. And here it is. The chicken is a little bit mushy for me. I prefer it to be a little bit crispier. And then we are also having some mandu beef dumplings. Both of these things are available just during Asian week and we really like these beef mandu. So I pan fried mine, meaning I cooked it up in a little bit of oil to get it brown and then I added water and I steamed it. And then just serving it over some jasmine rice. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So it's about nine o'clock in the morning here and I've already started prepping our dinner for tonight. So I am making some baked chicken. I had legs and thighs in my freezer and let me show you what I seasoned the meat with. So I had this in my pantry. I told you all I have so many spices that I need to use. I got this from, I don't know, TJ Maxx, Ross, someplace like this and there's no salt in it. All there is is the shallots, scallions and leeks. 
And then I had this in my pantry too, and I needed to use it, um, this magic seasoning blend for poultry. And so I cleaned my meat and pulled up my skin, and then I added the seasoning everywhere, seasonings everywhere. And then on the very bottom of the pan, I decided to use these um, peppers that I had in my freezer. I had about a third of the bag left. So that's what you see on the very bottom. So I am just going to cover up this chicken, put it in the fridge until it's time for dinner. And then I'm just gonna roast this chicken for about 40, 45 minutes at 400 degrees. Okay, so here's our dinner. And with the chicken, I just made some butter and herb rice and some canned green beans. Here is what the butter and herb rice looks like. And that is Harrison, of course. And the butter, uh, the rice is pretty good. I've never had it before. It's pretty tasty. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we will see y'all next time.